Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and today we're going to be customising the final Los Santos Summer Special car. We're going to be customising the new Albany Banana Custom. You've all seen this vehicle before, you can get this thing on the street. It only costs 10 grand which is not too bad actually. Um, so let's just jump straight into the customization of this thing. I already went ahead and bought it. Here it is in the shop. Um, it's nice to see we're finally getting some love for this vehicle because it is actually quite a cool vehicle. It's kind of underrated in my opinion. Um, it does have some very good stock customization, but let's see what we can do in Benny's. It does cost 900 grand to upgrade it to the Benny's version, which is quite expensive, but let's go ahead and do it. And there we go, it is now the Benny's custom version, and it looks fantastic actually. It's not changed a whole lot, but it already looks a bit lower, which is much better. We can obviously go for armor and brakes. I'm just going to do the visual stuff. So we've got the stock front bumper. We can go for the front bumper detail and lower lip, um, which actually does add some little ribs on the bumper as well as the lip. We can go for the bumper detail, which is just... Um, that without the lower lip and then you can get the stock one with the lower lip um i think just the bumper detail um not too keen on that lip it looks a little bit weird the chassis we can go for the painted fender skirt which just adds that little panel at the back or we can have that in like a chrome version that sort of matches up with the rest not a huge fan of those like fender skirts they look a little bit weird so i'm not going to bother with that you can have the stock primary tank you can have the secondary color tank or the chrome tank i think we'll go for the chrome tank today the engine bay we can get the um we've obviously got the stock um banana engine we can go for the painted ribbed cover the chrome cover we can go for the chrome ribbed cover or the painted livery covers. Um, I think we might put a livery on, so I'm going to go for the livery one. Um, the air filters, we've got the stock one. We've got the chrome air filter, the twin air filter, vertical ramp pipes. We can go for a blower, which also cuts a little hole in the bonnet, obviously. And we can go for the big blower. Um, it'd be nice to see what that looks like with the bonnet down. Um, because I can't really see it at the moment. Um, I don't think we want to go for a blower. Um, I'm just going to go for the vertical ramp pipes today. The engine tunes, we can obviously do the engine, but not going to bother. We've got the stock Manana exhaust, or we can go for the dual shotgun, which just adds like a quad exhaust. I guess we'll go for that. The fenders, we can add curb feelers or we can have the arch flames. I believe they're standard on the Manana. Um, so nothing new there. I don't like either of those, so I'm not going to bother. We can go for headlight grills. I think that is new. Um, it's kind of similar to what we get on um, the Vigoro or, or one of the other lowriders. I can't remember all the names of the lowriders, but one of them has headlight grills. Not a huge fan of them either, so not going to bother with that. The hydraulics, we've got all the regular hydraulics. So we've got the standard pump, the chrome pump, the quad four pump in a row, the quad pump two by two, or the quad pump V pattern. The V pattern is obviously the best one, it gives you the most bounce, so we'll go for that. Interior is going to be standard lowrider interior customization. So we've got all of the padded options and all of the stripped interior options. Um, I don't really know what we want to go for. I quite like just the digital camo. That does look quite nice. And then on the color, I don't know what color we're going to paint this thing yet. So we'll come back to that when we paint it in a minute the ornaments we've got all the bobble heads not a fan of them the dials we can go ahead and change the dials but i like the stock dials um, the steering wheels we've got this very low texture albany logo steering wheel so let's go ahead and change that up to something else uh, maybe resto mod that looks quite nice 
the um, column shifters we've got all the usual lowrider column shifters not a fan of them so I'm not going to bother we'll go for the Benny's neon um, the uh, plaque there although it's sloping a bit which is kind of weird um, that does look a little bit strange um, so maybe we'll leave that actually I don't really like that we'll go for the ice white um, dials just so they're a bit clearer and then on the liveries we have got a few liveries 13 to be precise um, we've got the simple pinstripe which is just a nice white pinstripe all around the car looks quite clean adds a little bit of detail to the car very nice we've got the colored pinstripe which is just sort of like a blue version again like a very simple pinstripe just adds a little bit of detail to the car looks very very nice we've got the pinstripe shapes which is a little bit more crazy it's kind of like the blue and the white one mixed together but still looks quite nice we've got the purple cruiser this is like a very low rider-esque livery um, not a huge fan of that have to be honest the vampire custom that also looks a little bit weird don't quite like that the geometric that's like a thicker pinstripe outline does look a little bit strange as well the the thicker pinstripes never look that good in my opinion um, we've got the rainbow rider that looks a little bit weird it looks very like 70s 60s 70s um, we've got the um, gilded pinstripe that actually does look very nice just a very simple one it is a bit thicker but it does actually work does look quite nice we've got the blue floral yeah not a fan of that we've got that in an orange version and then we've got the works which is like an all purple livery that looks a little that's a bit too much full on um i don't really know i do like this um gilded pinstripe i think we'll go with that um the plates will set that to low and slow the license plate will set to yellow and black um, now the respray options I don't know what color we want to go for this because obviously we've got the white and the yellow pinstripe so we've got to bear that in mind I don't think a red's going to work with this or the orange or the yellow the gold actually does work quite nice uh, we have already done the gold build with the uh, penumbra ff so I want to try and go for something different uh, maybe one of the blues today will actually look quite nice maybe just actually just blue looks quite nice um, the secondary color what is that going to change okay so that's going to change like the seating and like the door panels um, I guess we'll try and match that up with delivery a bit so maybe like a yellow um, so something like hmm maybe just a bronze because the yellows are a bit too bright um, I think the bronze matches the livery like as best as possible the trim color we can obviously go ahead and change all that um, I think it looks good just in black so I'm gonna leave that the roof we've got the remove roof we can go for a stock roof we can have the custom roof 2 which is just like a hard top livery version or we can go for the custom roof 3 which is just the secondary color um, I do like it more with the roof so we're gonna go for the roof option we can go for transmission trunk we got the speaker box shelf the square speaker shelf the round speaker shelf the twin sub trunk install and the triple sub in trunk install um, I think the round speaker shelf that looks the nicest um, turbo tuning we can do that if you want to um, let's have a look in the street class for some wheels um, what sort of wheels are going to look good on this maybe something like the hot ring steelies they look quite good and maybe we'll go for a colour today as well um, let's see what colour would look good um, the gold actually does look quite good because that matches up with the interior then so I think we'll go gold design do we want to go for any lettering I don't think that works on this car and then we'll just tint it out just a little bit with some smoke 
and that is the thing fully customized not a whole lot you can change on this these newer low riders um they're basically just the stock vehicle but it allows you to put hydraulics on and a couple of liveries and th things so nothing too crazy not as much customization as the older low riders but let's take it outside and uh, see how it performs all right so here we are outside it is night time as well so not the best time to show off the vehicle um, but the headlights are just like the standard ones we've got the outer ones and the brights are the center headlights so nothing to report there I swear to god the NPCs in this game but anyway um, let's just check how this thing bounces so we'll just pull over right here um, it's not going to bounce that much on the back because it does have like quite a big overhang so you can see it bottoms out there on the back like with the uh, Peyote we had a similar thing with that um, the front also has quite a big overhang so uh, let's see how that is it's not actually too bad you can get it quite high um, but honestly I like just driving it lowered you can bounce it if you want to um, but yeah I just like driving it lowered it looks really cool I actually do like this thing a lot now that we can get hydraulics on this thing it does pop flames which is nice and uh, generally it's just a nice addition to the game um, it's just something new um, it's, I'm kind of glad that Rockstar added this vehicle because it is actually a really cool vehicle it's very underestimated in the sort of car community and now that we have a low rider version of it it's getting some love and it's sort of an underrated car even in this update not not many people have even bothered to customize it but i wanted to because i think it is quite a cool vehicle but that is going to do it for the customization of the new albany manana custom I really hope Rockstar is going to add some more Benny's vehicles, even if they're not lowrider vehicles, just some more off-road vehicles and a few more tuner and supercars like we got in the original Benny's update. But that's going to do it for all of the car customization. We have now customized all of the brand new cars in this update. I hope you have enjoyed. If you haven't seen any of the other customizations, then I definitely recommend you go and check those out. When the new update drops in December, we are going to be customizing all the new vehicles in that update. So if you want to see that, then please subscribe to the channel to the channel and uh, stick around for that in December we'll be doing a spending spree and everything like that when the new DLC drops and if we get any more information in the next couple of weeks like a trailer or anything like that I will be sure to let you all know here on the channel but that's going to do it for today I hope you have all enjoyed if you have please smash the like button and uh, let me know in the comment section what you think of the new Albany Manana Custom that's going to do it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.